Welcome to Lesson 4 of Module 2 on Introduction to Databases and Database Management Systems. I'm going to start with one question that I want you to think about throughout this lesson. How much have software development costs been reduced by non-procedural database access? You have two objectives in this lesson today. In your own words, you should be able to briefly discuss the importance of non-procedural access. You should be able to list five types of application development tools that use non-procedural access and explain the relationship of the tools and non-procedural access. A query is a request for data to answer a question. For example, the user may want to know the customers having large balances or products with strong sales in a particular region. Non-procedural access allows users with limited computing skills to submit queries. The user specifies the part of a database to retrieve, not the implementation details of how retrieval occurs. Most importantly, users do not need to write complex procedures with loops. Non-procedural database languages do not have looping statements, such as the statements for, while, and so on, because only the parts of a database to retrieve are specified. Non-procedural access can reduce the number of lines of code by a factor of 100, as compared to procedural access. Because a large part of business software development involves data access, non-procedural access can provide a dramatic improvement in software productivity, two orders of magnitude or a hundred times. To appreciate the significance of non-procedural access, I want you to consider an analogy to planning a vacation. You specify your destination travel budget, length of stay, and departure date. These facts indicate the what of your trip. To specify the how of your trip, you need to indicate many more details, such as the best route to your destination, the most desirable hotel, ground transportation, and so on. Your planning process is much easier if you have a professional to help with these additional details. Like a planning professional, a DBMS performs a detailed planning process to answer queries expressed in a non-procedural language. Most DBMSs provide more than one tool for non-procedural access. The select statement of the Structured Query Language, SQL, described in Modules 4 and 5, provides a non-procedural way to access a database. Most DBMSs also provide graphical tools to access databases. For example, Microsoft Access provides a graphical tool in which the user only has to indicate the required tables, relationships, and columns is indicated on the diagram on the left. Microsoft Access is responsible for generating the details to retrieve the required data as shown in the table by the specification window. Other vendors, including Oracle, have similar tools, although there is no industry standard tool. Most DBMSs go well beyond simply accessing data. Graphical tools are provided for building complete applications using forms and reports. Data entry forms provide a convenient tool to enter and edit data. This sample form can be used to add new course assignments for a professor and to change existing assignments. This form was developed in Microsoft Access without coding for the layout or database access. Other DBMS vendors provide similar tools. Reports enhance the appearance of data that is displayed or printed. This report uses indentation to show courses taught by faculty in various departments. The indentation style can be easier to view than the default tabular style. This report was developed in Microsoft Access without coding for the layout or database access. Other DBMS vendors provide similar tools. Non-procedural access makes form and report creation possible without extensive coding. As part of creating a form or report, the user indicates the data requirements using a non-procedural language, such as a select statement in SQL or a graphical tool. To complete a form or report definition, the user indicates formatting of data, user interaction, and other details. Non-procedural access reduces development time substantially because the detailed coding for database access is not necessary to write. In addition to application development tools, a procedural language interface adds the full capabilities of a computer programming language. Non-procedural access in application development tools, though convenient and powerful, are sometimes not efficient enough 
or do not provide really the level of control necessary for application development. When these tools are not adequate, DBMSs provide an interface to use non-procedural database language statements inside a computer programming language. Most commercial DBMSs have a procedural language interface. For example, Oracle has a language PL SQL, and Microsoft SQL Server has a language Transact SQL. In summary, I want to reiterate the point that I've made in previous lessons. Databases and database technology are vital to modern organizations, supporting both the daily operations and decision making. Non-procedural database access is a crucial feature of a DBMS. Non-procedural database access reduces coding requirements related to data retrieval by a hundred times, giving a large boost for software development and productivity. DBMSs support non-procedural access through the database language SQL, graphical tools for query development, form and report development tools, and interfaces in computer programming languages. Query formulation is a fundamental skill for database work, especially as a power user and information systems professional. You will learn query formulation skills in modules four and five.